So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about PhD interview acceptance rates and what is the average PhD interview acceptance rate. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Professor Dave Massack. I'm an associate professor of innovation strategy and entrepreneurship. And I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. There were so many people who helped me out that I want to pay the favor forward to help you out. So I created the Sharing Economy editing platform. Please do go check it out, buy some credits. It would really, really, really mean a lot to me um, to do that. And if, if you're benefiting at all from the reciprocity project, please do go do that. And um, I also created this huge blog if you go check it out as well. So what is the uh, average PhD interview acceptance rate? It's going to be somewhere between 25 to 75%. It's going to depend on the institution. There's a rather large range on that because some institutions like to bring in a lot of PhD students to interview them and sort of look at um, you know ones that are best and other ones don't like to do that and they only like to bring in a couple of them. So generally at this stage, what's happened already is that they've looked at your application, they've gone through your letters, you know, all those kind of things, and then they whittle it down, say that there's 100 applications, they've whittled it down into maybe it's eight different interviews, even that is probably large, but it's somewhere along there if they've got say three spots or something like that. And what they're trying to do is just get a sense for the people that, that really are um, really into it and they really want to be there. And the reason why they, they whittle it down to a few interviews is because uh, professors, just like absolutely everybody else, have um, limited amounts of time and they don't want to spend a tremendous amount of time doing that. So let's say an interview takes half, from a half an hour to an hour, it's going to be at least a day's worth of work to go through all of that. And then to rank it and talk about it, you know, it gets really overwhelming if you have more than that. So that's why the acceptance rates are already really good at that stage. You've made it through a lot of different hurdles and people understand what you're about and they're kind of trying to figure out whether you are the best fit for that. So it's a really good sign if you're at that stage. It just is... Um, you know, you still have a chance of not getting in, but at the same time, you're doing really well at that, that moment. And it really depends on the different institutions, different universities in terms of where they stand with that. So um, what can you do to actually increase your chances of um, doing well at the PhD interview? Uh, what I would do, I mean, I would do all those standard stuff, right? So send a quick thank you note right after you do that to all the participants. There's not really a standard way of doing that in terms of whether to send it to everybody or send it to each individual person um, separately. I don't think it really matters as long as you just kind of make the effort to do that and you just send that within 24 hours. Um, take notes during the interview. That's a really good sign. So if you don't know, everything that we do in academia is about taking notes and doing research. And so if you're doing that automatically and you have maybe it's your laptop out and you're taking notes or you have a notepad, a little one of those mole skins or something and you're writing that down, it's really impressive because it looks like you're actually, you know, you're, you're on the ball, you're doing the right things. Um, the, you know, another thing to, to remember is just be yourself. That's a really important thing because the last thing you want to do, and I know that's kind of like, uh, it's not the best sort of advice, but it really is. It makes a lot of difference because the last thing you want to do is go to a program where you are really, really trying to um, impress somebody and then you find out you don't really like them. So it's better to find out just by being yourself whether you actually like hanging out with those people or not because it's a dating game, right? If you didn't know and if you start at the place that doesn't fit, for you, then um, you're gonna, it's, it's a long career then. So you need to have the place that fits for you. And then you're gonna do a lot better by doing that because you found the place that fits for you. So the culturally, what, what are those people like? Each institution, each group of people, they're all different. They have sort of different styles. And so you need to find things that sort of fit with you. Um, you know, the last thing I think it's important is to focus on your actual abilities to do research. So whatever that looks like for you and what you have done, I know some of you haven't done a lot of research, probably most of you haven't done a lot of research, but you should look at what you can consider doing research or what you've done sort of doing research, whether it's a big um, project that you did, you know, and for me, I was in engineering my undergrad, so I did a, um, you know, a fifth year project, a huge project 
where we had to spend the whole year sort of analyzing the stuff that was really beneficial so if you had something like that an honors project or something like that talk about what that process was like for you and what that felt like for you so hopefully you got something from this video give me a thumbs up if you did do subscribe to the youtube channel and good luck with your phd interviews i know lots of you are doing them right now and i think you're going to do all right if you just really focus on um you know, just being yourself, being who you are, and, uh, you know, just being a really nice, decent human being. And you should do okay. And if you do get rejections, don't worry about it. It's part of the game. That's, that's what we do in the academic world is get used to rejections. So everything we do is, is about getting a lot of rejections, and we just have to learn how to process that. So anyways, um, again, give me a thumbs up to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.